Hey, this music hitting hard. Anyway, hello everyone. This is Rookie, and welcome back to A Summer's End, Hong Kong, 1986. Let's continue with last shall we? Also, my nose is a little stuffy right now, so I'll try the best I can with voice acting. But like I said before, I am a god awful voice actor. So let's do this. I really do like the CG though. This is really pretty. Well, this is awkward. You know what I'm gonna do? For this type of voice, I'm just gonna, uh... I mean, for the, like, the personal narration, I'm just gonna do my voice. But for the characters, when they're getting to character, I'll do their voices, because I don't want to be getting my voice taxing the whole time. I mean, I don't want to tax my voice the whole time. When I look up again, I saw her standing across from me. Our eyes met. There was a moment of pause between us. I didn't know if I should talk to her. It's like, it's not like we knew each other. She thought otherwise, and she smiled as if she had found an old friend. She waved at me, her animated gesture not at all phasing the fish in the takes. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> young lady. Young lady! Young lady! Oh my god, young lady! There we go, nailed it. Young lady! She stepped around to stand beside me. Are you buying goldfish? Huh? No, I'm just passing time while waiting. I see. You're from the coo- From the coo? What's wrong with me? You're from the shoe cobbler, right? Is something the matter? Oh, no. I was just buying fish food. I see. Oh my god, the thought came to me when I saw, saw you and- you and I thought I should ask. There's this place I like nearby. Would you like to get something to eat with me? Uh, uh huh? Okay. Choices, choices, choices. So we have, what does this have, what does that have to do with me? That's fine, but if you're paying, <laughs> I'm definitely not doing this one. This one sounds kind of mean. This one is the shy but okay answer. This one is the shy but really shy answer. What does that have to do with me? Why should I? Why not? Uh, well, I thought since you, I thought, I thought since you're waiting for your shoe. I am, but I'm sure you're a busy person. Now, don't worry. I'm running some errands for my dad, so I have to. So I have to go back to. Oh, I can't do these lines. Hold on. Now, don't worry. Oh my God, I'm running some errands for my dad, so I have to go back to the cobbler later. Anyway. She had a bag of something fishy. What pet food had to do with the cobbler? I did not know. I was thinking of getting some takeout, but you know, food is always better dining in and shared. Right. When you're alone, there's always seat. Sorry. When you're alone, they always seat you a big table with other strangers anyway. I'm a stranger too, though. So, if you don't mind, would you like to eat together? 
I don't really want to be a bother to you. No, no, I insist. By the time we finish eating, your shoes will be ready too. Is this a technique for a girl to swindle me? If you want something else, that's okay too. Yeah. There's a lot of food stalls around here. I can show you the good ones. There we go. Make the music a little lower. So it doesn't, it doesn't distract my uh, voice acting processing brain process. It doesn't distract my voice acting brain processing. There you go. Can I speak English properly for once in my life? Okay. Alright, Michelle. <clears throat> oh, it's fine. You don't have to. Alright. Then it's settled. Let's go to the restaurant. Eh? Just like that? She linked my arm with hers and led me to the to a diner across the road. I tried to decline her politely, but I could not utter a strong enough reason to avoid her. Michelle, you're such a bottom. It was forward and uncouth of her to push me around like that, but I hazard to say anything to her about it. I wanted to get home as quickly as possible without any fuss or hassle. If I have to go along with this, then so be it. My poor shoes were being held hostage by this weird woman. I was led into a small Hong Kong style diner. Sorry. It was an unremarkable restaurant. A diner like this could be found in any district around Hong Kong. Sam pulled out the remarkably colorful plastic chair out for, for me. I hesitantly took my seat. Huh, what a lady. I observed her set. I observed her. Ob observe her set her mysterious bag down onto the table as if. It was a normal and everyday thing to do. She handed me a menu that she grabbed from the next table over. I quickly glanced at it. The menu items were typical. I wasn't thinking of eating much. I was more concerned about the bag she brought from the pet store. An outer opaque paper bag shielded her aquatic purchase from glances of other restaurant patrons. I was bewildered. She treated it like it was a purchase from the vegetable market, setting it on the table like that. Sorry, I paused because I was trying to, I had it sniff my nose and then something nasty happened and then the yuckies happened and I'm not going to talk any further than that. I kept my handbag close to my side. But I do feel a little better though. Just a little bit. Before I could continue with my thoughts, a waitress came over to take our order. Have you decided? Order as you please. Oh, um, give me a moment. Alright, I'll order first. I'll get the beef brisket with rice noodles. I'll add a milk tea with that. Oh, and I'll get the chef's salad for takeout. That's it for me. Oh. Um, I'll order the clubhouse sandwich. That's the most American thing to order. In, a, in, a, in Hong Kong, that's the most American thing to order. Oh, waitress. <coughs> Anything to drink? The tea is fine, thank you. Eating a sandwich for dinner? This place is known for their beef brisket. Uh, I, 
I don't like to eat too much after 9 p.m. If you have many car carbohydrates in the late night, you'll gain weight easily, you know? Yeah, that's true. I did eat I did eat late at night, especially all the times as teenagers when I ate at Taco Bell late at night. Wow, no wonder I'm so fat. I'm still trying to lose weight though. Eh? Really? Is that true? I eat late every day and you're still skinny. You must be exercising at night or something. Well, maybe not for you. The waitress came back and placed on the table her order of milk tea. The cobbler's daughter proceeded to pour a whole second. Second? Sage it? How do you say that word? Sachet of sugar into the already sugary milk. I mean, sugary drink without tasting it first. Damn, she likes sweets. She likes it. Sweet, 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 sweet. She stirred in the sugar and took a sip. We reached for enough. We, what? Why am I reading? Why am I making up words in my head? She reached for another sugar packet and was about to tear it open before she stopped herself. I must have made a face unconsciously. I think it's fine as long as you eat in moderation. That is true, too. You should eat more, in fact. You want some of my brisket? You trying to make. You trying to make. Um, Michelle Thicker? Uh huh. No, thank you. I'm not that hungry. Hmm. Do you work in an office? Those skills you drop off were really impressive. Yes. I work in a publishing company as a secretary. And oh well. Well, anyone would have figured your suit really gives it away. It's not like being an OL is something to hide. Absolutely, OMG. It's too bad your shoe broke. Your sandals right now really don't match your getup. Are you making fun of me? N no, I was just, I just think it's really interesting. An OL wearing bright pink kitchen slippers to work? How refreshingly empowering. E empowering? What do you mean by that? Like someone who can command the attention of the whole room. It was an accident that I broke my heels on my way to work. These slippers were just a re replacement. Please don't try to cate categorize me as something based on one thing. Well, you still went around town with them. That's gutsy. I would have picked out something less conspicuous to wear instead. It's not like I had time to find something else to wear. Alright, let's leave it at that. Say, do you have an aquarium? Huh? Sorry. You were looking, you were totally looking at that goldfish earlier. Uh, oh, no, I was just looking at the animals. I see. That's cute. C cute? Can I ask you then? Are you a cat person or a dog person? I gotta know. Oh, this is a choice? Okay. I mean, it don't matter to me. I like both. I like dogs and cats. It's just that the problem with me is I have allergies, so I can't have either of them, so yeah. I'll be sneezing all the time around those poor things. 
I used to have birds too. But for the sake of this adventure, let's say... Dog. Well, actually... I feel rebellious. Let's do neither. Neither. Not pick your sides, huh? Why did you ask? <sniffs> OMG, it's re nothing really. I just wanted to make, like, conversation. <sniffs> I... I see. Do you keep any pets? I saw you bought fish food. I don't. The fish food is for my dad. Wait, what? Well, not for him, but for his fish. Oh, okay, that's what I say. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, let me, let me say that again. <coughs> oh. How about yourself? In the corner of my eye, I saw the bag that she had put on the table was about to fall over. I heard a rustling noise. I wasn't sure what was in her bag, but whatever it was, it was alive and trying to escape. She caught it before it fell off the dining table. She placed the bag again on the table, this time tucking, be tucking it between the container of chili oil and the salt and pepper shakers. No. <clears throat> no, 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 again. No. I see. Well, I've kept a turtle before. It, it was more my father's pet turtle. I I didn't really care for it. That's okay. You know, my dad really loves his pet fish. Ah, I bought extra food, extra food for the fish. You can take some for the turtle. She motioned to take out the bag for all to see in the restaurant. W wait Please save it for yourself. I don't have a t I don't have the turtle anymore. Oh no! OMG, I'm sorry, the poor turtle. Well, I'm not sure what happened to it. Eh? It ran away? A turtle? No. We let him go in the pond when my family moved. God, my freaking allergies today, man. The public pond? What? Well, a lot of things happened at that time. Oh, we haven't even introduced each other yet. My family name is Wong. My given name is Kayan. You can call me Sam, though. I have a small video store just around the corner near here. Oh, really? That's interesting. The shop... The shop is called Diamond Videos. It's a hubble little store, but I have all sorts of movies if you're interested in a recommendation. What's your name? Uh, Cheung Fong Ha? My English name is Michelle. Sorry, let me, let me say that again, line again. <clears throat> I'm Cheung Fong Ha? My English name is Michelle. Michelle Fung Ha Chung. What a powerful name. Please don't say my name so loud like that. It sounds so much like a like a Peking opera opera stage name. I wish my mother gave me a more cheerful name like yours. Eh? I think it's a beautiful. 
beautiful and graceful name that your mother has given you. When I was in school, there were five other Kai Yans in my class. It was terribly confusing. R really? That must have been troublesome. Right? So, what made you choose Michelle as your English name? A lot of people I've met picked a name phonetically similar to their Chinese name. Eh? It was my father who suggested that name to me. He, sa he said it was from an English song. I thought it sounded nice. Oh? Hmm. Isn't that from a famous... Isn't that from a famous song? I might have that record somewhere. Really? I don't really listen to much Western music. That's alright. What music do you listen to then? I like artists like Tai Chin or Sai. Not Tai. Sai, Sai Chin and Teresa Tang. I see. So you like Mandarin folk. That's interesting. I can see why you like it. <laughs> I like singers who express a lot of emotion, emotion in their songs, and I do too. I do too. I like sing I like singers who put their heart and soul emotions to it oh and plus if they put the the vocal range to it oh my god yes that's that's a that's a win for me not not just in mandarin i also like anita boo is that so i love anita boo her fashion and singing is top notch isn't it Yes, it is. I've been following her since she won the new talent competition. I admire how hard she works. Right? She's an inspirational artist. Do you have a cassette player by any chance? I do. You want to listen to my mixtape? <laughs> Would you like to listen to this mix I got? I I got Anita Mule and other artists that I like on this. Oh, the Walkman. Oh, that is such an 80s thing. That's so cool to see. My grandma used to have one of those, but it unfortunately didn't last long. It died. Sam showed me a cassette tape she had in her pocket. Solo me, trying to not say Sony. Nice. Walk me instead of Walkman. She had one of those portable cassette players flipped into her pants. On the cassette label was a handwritten playlist. The boss. Diana R. Ross. Chick by I Want Your Love. Just to, just be myself, Dion. Oh, okay. I didn't recognize the na names of the musicians other than Anita Mool and Dini Ip. I saw she had the names of English artists written down, but I didn't know who they were. How do you not know Dion? It's okay. I was going to say, how everybody else I can understand, but Diana Ross, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know Diana Ross. It's all right. Now, I have a whole bunch of these. I used to work at a record store some time ago, so I made them when the day was slow. It's fine. You don't need to. Aw. I'll look into it later. Where did your name come from, Sam? 
It doesn't sound like your Chinese name at all. A friend picked it out for me. When I was younger, I usually worked late tending the record store. It was a shop my friend help, had helped manage. At the end of the day, she'll come over to collect the money from the register, and she'll ask me to eat a late dinner with her. She was my senior, so she would just say, Let's eat dinner, six, 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 man, five, fan, six, what the heck does that mean? Six, five, six, is that a code that you memorize, six, five, six? She said it every time, she, she said it every time she saw me in the evening, then she stopped addressing me by my Chinese name. Six five six. I don't think I should save that. I'll just try to memorize it the best I can. Six five six. I already read this. She just greeted me with that phrase. So one day, she got the bright idea of calling me Samantha. We worked at a semi-popular record store then. Sometimes English speakers would come in looking for certain records. My friend said it was better to have an English name. It makes it easier for business. So that's how the name Samantha stuck. I didn't like it at first. In fact, I felt that my friend was rid ridiculous ridiculing me with that name. I adapted it to Sam. And before I knew it, everyone started calling me by that. I grew to like it. I see. That's an interesting story. Samantha. It's hard to say. That's why I don't mind people shortening it to Sam. Easier to say and easier to spell. Feels more personal too. I see. Mm -hmm. You're not eating your salad? I don't really like fruit salad when it's too creamy. Eh? Eh? Don't waste it then. You should have gotten your sandwich with fries instead. I didn't know it would be this kind. It's always this kind of salad at these restaurants. Anyway, I'll eat it if you don't want it. Eh? eh? They'll just trash it if you don't fit if you don't finish it. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people starving in the world. That is true. Uh, all right, all right. If you really insist. Thank you. I'll help myself. You're really eating it. <laughs> What's that? You laugh at me? I... I just think you're pretty interesting. We've just met and now you're finishing my meal. Well, I think if you live your life with too many reservations, you'll miss out on all the fun. You'll end up getting constipated too. Just from not having a, this salad? Well, maybe if you all always don't eat salad. It's... It's not like I don't eat any salad. Okay, okay. Give it back. I'll have some too. <laughs> eh? Now you're laughing at me. You're too funny, OMG. That's what I. That's what I should be saying to you. We continue talking about this and that after finishing the meal. 
Sam had an interesting perspective on things, I have to admit. I suppose it wasn't bad to pass time with a company like this. Shall we head back? Your shoes should be fixed net by now. Oh, already? Okay. Let's get the bill. I already got it. Eh? When? When you were in when you were in the washroom earlier. That's not that's not fair. Here, take this. No, no, I asked you to dinner and ate most of your food. I had to get takeout from my dad anyway. Still. What did I say about having no reservations? All right then, next time is on me, okay? Okay, let's have sukiyaki next time. Sukiyaki? That's not, that's not fair. How about conveyor belt sushi then? Huh? If you can limit yourself to just one plate. Eh, I'm just joking, OMG. Alright, this is good enough. Played quite a while too. Alright, let's save. Perfect. Alrighty, guys, I have to end my video from here, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of A Summer's End, Hong Kong 1986. Kudos to you if you watched the whole video bearing through my horrific voice acting. Kudos to you. Alright, bye-bye.